Gina is one of these characters in Bojack Horseman that are often overlooked in favor of more popular characters who left more of a mark or simply happened to have more screen time. Her impact on the events of the show and on Bojack himself are undeniable though, and she's a perfect representation of the toxic celebrity culture and film industry's problematic treatment of its actors. Gina is one of Bojack's many victims. She started as his co-star on Filbert and she and Bojack had frequent hookups, which later led to her becoming his actual girlfriend. When we meet her, Gina is an actress who gets steady TV roles due to being seen as easy to work with and accommodating. She pretty much agrees to do whatever the role calls for, hoping that one day she'll finally get the role that gives her the recognition she dreams of and make going through all this effort worth it. But since she's pushing 40, she knows that Filbert might be her last chance of becoming a Hollywood star, something that she didn't have much luck with before, as all of the TV shows she starred in until now got cancelled after only one season. She's portrayed as hardworking and dedicated, but also quite jaded and bitter because of her lack of success despite being an actress for so long. Based on what we know about her, she seems to be a pretty good actress, so it's not for the lack of skills or talent. She also avoids forming close emotional bonds with her co-stars and prefers to keep her private life separate. I think a heartbreaking aspect of her development is how, at least at first, her relationship with Bojack actually appears to be really good for her. In many ways, this was possibly the healthiest romantic relationship Bojack had throughout the entire series. It wasn't healthy, not exactly, but at least from her perspective, there weren't any glaring red flags that she ignored and she was always quick to confront Bojack when she disagreed with his actions. Actually, he even encouraged her to pursue her dreams of becoming a Broadway star, and their personalities seem to mesh well together, with both of them being highly sarcastic and cynical individuals. It wasn't a perfect relationship by any means, but given Bojack's track record, this was the closest to healthy we've ever seen him get. The problem is, because Bojack refuses to address his issues or take responsibility for his poor and toxic behavior, this was not the kind of relationship that was meant to last. And so, Gina ends up being a sad reminder of how destructive Bojack is to people he surrounds himself with and how his inability to face the consequences of his past actions has a habit of ruining the future of those who made the mistake of trusting him. During a drugs-induced blackout, Bojack strangles Gina while on the set of Filbert, mistaking fiction for reality after his continued abuse of prescription drugs. After Gina finds his hiding spots, she goes to confront him, demanding an explanation that he stops taking the medication. What started as a way to manage pain following the accident during the production of Filbert turned into him becoming becoming dependent on drugs to the point where he had trouble differentiating between what's real and what's not. He would constantly mistake his real life with the plot of Filbert, the line between Bojack and his character becoming more and more blurry. It's not exactly helped by the fact that the set of Filbert looked exactly like his house and that it's implied that shooting for the show often took place during the night, making him more tired and less aware of his surroundings. When you look at all these elements, it feels like Bojack's strong ninja was kind of inevitable. The scene when he strangles Gina's character, Sassy Malone, was even in the script of Filbert, but between Bojack's drugged up state and his anger at Gina for exposing his addiction, he took things too far and ended up hurting her for real. And as if to add insult to injury, for the longest time no one on set reacts and Flip, Filbert's director, even suggests that they keep the cameras rolling. It isn't until Mr. Peanut Butter voices his concern and jumps in to save Gina that everyone else snaps out of it. And then Bojack doesn't even remember what he did the next day. It's only after being shown the video of what happened that he realizes the damage he's responsible for. Worse, Princess Karen actually tries to shield him from the truth and it's only when he insists that she agrees to show him the footage. Bojack seems to be horrified, faced with the evidence of what he did, but it doesn't really change anything, the damage is done. And that's a pretty big theme in the show, especially in the latest seasons. Maybe Bojack doesn't intentionally hurt people in his life, but regardless of his intentions, it's his victims who have to live with these consequences. And this incident completely changed changes the trajectory of Gina's character arc, from a bitter actress chasing fame and recognition that she deserves in an industry that doesn't value her work, to becoming a survivor and having to deal with the trauma that comes with it. Bojack offers to come clean and admit to what he did in an interview with Biscuits Bragsby, organized by Princess Carolyn, as a sort of damage control to save Filbert and avoid a controversy, but Gina doesn't let him. 
And this whole conflict really highlights how throughout the series Bojack managed to avoid taking responsibility for his actions because he benefited from the culture that punishes the victims rather than the oppressors and treats them with distrust and hostility. It's something that's been reaffirmed many times in the series, as we've seen before how men like Hank Hippopopolis or Vance Wagner managed to avoid any lasting repercussions for their actions. Vance basically has to deal with being cancelled every few years and then all he has to do is do a public apology or two and and wait until enough time passes so that he can come back and continue with his harmful and offensive behavior. It's exactly like Princess Carolyn said, Hollywood has a short memory and it's very forgiving when it comes to men in the position of power. And the fact that the public is willing to ignore their transgressions is enough to silence the victims and force them into submission, letting the cycle of abuse continue. And we see at various points during the series that Bojack is exactly like this man, desperate to do anything to save his public image no matter who gets hurt in the process. Process. People who associate with Bojack tend to get screwed over by his actions and suffer the consequences of his poor life decisions and the disregard for anyone other than himself. And it makes this scene all the more chilling when you realize that it's foreshadowing. This is just old Bojack talking, but how about we don't choke any women? So true, right? Don't choke women! Don't choke women! And the sad reality is that we live in a world where more often than not, abuse victims are safe for not reporting the abuse they experience and just trying to quietly move on. It's easier to focus on healing when they can do it on their own terms instead of having to constantly defend themselves when they choose to go public and talk about their trauma. I will talk about it a little more later on, but for now, let's take a look at Gina's character, her significance in the story and what she tells us about the dark side of celebrity culture. Like I said before, when we meet her for the first time, Gina makes it clear that she's interested in keeping a healthy life-work balance and will do everything she's asked for by the producers or directors. Her job is her priority and she will go to great lengths to avoid sabotaging her career in any way. She strives to be as easy to work with as possible, hoping that it will help advance her career and lead to her finally being noticed. It's a huge contrast with Bojack, who, following horsing around success, didn't really work much and would abandon his projects as soon as they stopped being enjoyable for him. Meanwhile, Gina is in no position to be picky the same way Bojack is, and as opposed to him, she hasn't had her breakthrough yet and her chances of getting one are getting smaller and smaller as she gets older. It really illustrates one major difference between Gina and Bojack. All of the big roles we've seen Bojack play throughout the length of the series, like Horsin Around, Secretariat or Filbert, could be referred to as passion projects. He either genuinely enjoyed working on them or they were something he really wanted to do in his career. He still frequently rewatches all of the episodes of Horsing Around and playing his idol secretariat was his biggest dream, at least career-wise. And even though he had his doubts at the beginning and was kind of forced to play this role because Princess Carolyn forged his signature, he seems to enjoy the darker and more ambitious aspects of playing Filbert. However, Gina isn't as lucky, she can't just choose to only play the characters she wants to play. It's actually sad how she was forced to accept crumbs of attention for so long that at first she's amazed and shocked whenever someone asks for an interview or even when she got more than a line in a review after Filbert turns out to be successful and people finally start paying attention to her. It really highlights the difference between her and Bojack's careers, with Bojack's first and for the longest time only role earning him a fortune that allowed him to live comfortably for many years following the horsing around success. Meanwhile, Gina played in 28 productions before finally getting noticed. Even though they are both actors, their career paths couldn't be more different and it shows how Bojack had it relatively easy compared to her with his first role giving him years of fame and a celebrity status. And I think that this discrepancy in salary and recognition they get for their work truly shows how inherently unfair the film industry and the entire culture around celebrities can be with some people being lucky to get discovered early and others having to work long and hard to accomplish even a fraction of the same success. We see it in how serious Gina is about her work and how she established boundaries early on in order to avoid misunderstandings and problems with her co-stars and the rest of the crew. When Bojack asks her openly what she thinks about the script and her character, she responds honestly that playing a character whose main role is to be attractive feels gratuitous and male-gazy. She doesn't feel any personal connection with Sassy Malone and she knows that her main objective is to appeal to the male audience. And it's a huge contrast with Bojack who can be more picky about his roles and as soon as he realizes that there are some issues with Flip's portrayal or Filbert, he goes to confront him about it. 
And in a typical project fashion, he messes up, and when cornered, he uses Gina's own argument to call out Flip's writing, which leads to Flip saying that instead of strippers getting naked during one of the scenes, it would be better if Gina does that. And as expected, Gina doesn't complain and simply agrees to do her job, knowing that if she wants to advance her career, she doesn't get to be picky or complain about her roles, even if she's not always happy about some of the directing choices. Again, unlike Bojack, she isn't in a position where she can go around making demands and expecting her needs and wants to be accommodated. And for once, Bojack's ego actually backfires on him when Flip, who's annoyed by Bojack's constant comments, suggests that if he's so concerned about Gina's nude scene being male gaze and exploitative, then they can give the female audience something to look at as well. He calls Bojack out for not actually caring about women and how they are expected to do scenes like that for the benefit of the male audience members. He also suggests that Philbelt will be the one with a nude scene instead and if Bojack truly cares about equality, he won't mind doing that for the role. But of course Bojack does mind. He's not advocating for women or Gina because he believes that the industry objectifies them and their bodies. He's simply concerned with how his own role reflects all of the negative aspects of his own personality and he isn't satisfied with the script. Both Flip and Princess Caroline refuse to listen to his demands and remind him that as an actor it is his job to act and follow their directions. And Bojack is eventually forced to relax and do the scene. Which, honestly, is pretty problematic on its own and shows how much power directors and producers have over their actors. As Flip even refuses to let Bojack wear a t-shirt in order to cover himself during the scene and demands that they shoot it fully nude. It's a huge problem in the industry in how when actors and actresses try to advocate for their rights and needs and express discomfort with some creative choices, they often have to face comments accusing them of being unprofessional or difficult to work with. Gina represents the kind of actress who accepts that in her field of work she will have to deal with situations like these and the best course of action for her is to simply agree in order to avoid being labeled as difficult. She keeps her head down, she does her job to the best of her ability and hopes that it will be enough to land her a role that will give give her that big breakthrough that she's hoping for. Which leads me to think that until now she must have experienced a lot of disappointment in her life and that although cynical, she understands the industry better than anyone and knows that if she wants to succeed, she has to play her cards right. And that often means pushing your dreams away and doing the things which give you the highest chance of success. You see, at the beginning of their relationship, when they are still only sleeping together, Bojack finds out that Gina enjoys musical theatre. And this is our first real chance to get to know her better and learn more about her personal life. Apparently, when she was 6 years old, her mom took her to see a musical and it left such an impression on her that ever since she loved musicals and becoming a Broadway star was one of her greatest dreams. But as expectations clashed with reality, she slowly gave up on actually pursuing this dream and focused on more realistic goals. She still listens to musicals though, as it brings her back to the time in her life when she still believed she could be anything. When Bojack finds out about it, initially he mocks her, but eventually he tries to persuade Gina to follow her dreams and arranges an audition for her in front of Flip and Princess Carolyn. But since everything happened so fast and, at least as far as we know, she never received proper training, she's not good enough. And once her performance is over, she quickly leaves the room, apologizing and looking embarrassed. When Bojack approaches her later that day, she reaffirms her boundaries and asks that they stick to the original rules and not get in each other's business. After that, we see Gina and Bojack continue their casual relationship as they work together on Philbert, and it isn't until the show is finished that they officially become a couple. Initially, Gina tells Bojack that with the show over, there's no reason for them to continue their relationship, and Bojack agrees. However, things don't go according to plan. You see, when Hollyhock comes to visit, due to the trauma she experienced when Beatrice sneaked her drugs during her last visit, manifesting in the form of a panic attack, she throws away Bojack's prescription drugs that he needs because of an injury he got during a stand while working on Philbert, and now he's in a desperate need to get them back. He remembers that he might have left some pills at Gina's place back when they were still hooking up, so they go there and Bojack tries to distract Gina while Hollyhock searches for his medication. Desperate to come up with a believable excuse as to why he's suddenly at her house, even though she already told him that they are over, he informs her that he wants to continue their relationship. 
And Gina actually allows herself to feel hopeful, saying that maybe the reason why she never continued her relationships with her co-stars is because she convinced herself that she doesn't deserve it. Based on this and her hesitance to follow her dreams, I think it's fair to say that Gina is the kind of person who is scared of being rejected, and as a result, she prefers to avoid feeling hopeful and to end things early before she has a chance to get to invest and end up hurt. We don't know much beyond that regarding her past, but from what we know, I think it can be concluded that she's been hurt in the past and she would rather keep her distance and act as if she's unaffected. And if she convinces herself well enough, maybe it will become reality. It's a kind of coping mechanism that allows her to regain some level of control over her life. She chooses to have zero expectations because that way she can avoid getting hurt when things fail to go according to plan. And even though Bojack didn't plan on continuing this relationship, he actually seems to be quite fond of Gina, even remembering little details about her life. And later on, when he's too high to tell the difference between his delusions and reality and thinks that someone is out to get him, one of his main motivations to solve the mystery is to ensure that Gina is safe. I find it interesting because in these six seasons we don't really see him caring that much about his romantic partners or, well, anyone really. Bojack doesn't form close relationships easily and he has a tendency to push those close to him away. So it's interesting to see him actually caring about someone, even if it's for all the wrong reasons. However, at this point in the show he still refuses to admit to his wrongdoings and he uses Philbert as a way to justify his shitty behavior instead of doing the hard work and going to therapy or getting the help he needs. That's why even when he tries to do the good thing, like when he convinces Gina to sing in front of Flip and Princess Carolyn, it never ends well. This whole subplot shows that even though Bojack might have good intentions, he tends to make it about himself and the sense of gratification that he will feel once Gina gets to fulfill her dreams. He never stopped to ask himself if this is what Gina really wants or needs at this moment in time. That said, he seems to be genuinely happy for her when Philbert's premiere puts her in the spotlight for the first time in her life. And so, Gina finally has a chance to experience what it means to be a star and be seen as a proper actress, and not just an afterthought mentioned in the credits of the show. Unfortunately, she doesn't get to enjoy her newfound fame for long. After Philbert is picked up for another season, Bojack slowly spirals deeper and deeper into his addiction. Despite reassuring Hollyhock that he no longer needs his pills, he finds himself dependent on them and causes a car crash that lands him in the hospital just so he could be prescribed more pills. He becomes more and more paranoid. And when Gina finds his hidden stash, he's at the point where he no longer recognizes where reality ends and delusions start. The scene where he strangles Gina is possibly one of the most uncomfortable to watch and emotionally raw scenes in the entire show. We know that Bojack is capable of doing horrible things. We know that he has an addictive personality and abused substances in the past. But it's still shocking to see him wrap his hands around Gina's neck as she struggles to catch her breath. Season 5 did a really good job showing how his addiction makes him more and more violent. He snapped at Hollyhock, he hurt Diane, and now he completely lost his grip on reality and nearly killed Gina while dozens of people watched and did nothing. And that's how we reach Bojack's first interview with Biscuits, where in a rare moment of honesty and willingness to take accountability, he promises Gina that he'll come clean and explain what happened. And like I said before, it's Gina who persuades him not to do that. While she agrees that Bojack should be rotting in jail for what he did to her, she doesn't want him to ruin her life with his confession. She doesn't want to be known as a victim, and she doesn't want to give Bojack that kind of power over her. She wants to be known for her acting, her hard work, her dedication and talent. And if Bojack came clean, she would never get that. She would be forever remembered as that one girl who was choked by Bojack Horseman. It's a trope that we don't really see that often, the idea of keeping quiet for the victim's sake. We know that Bojack deserves to face the consequences of his actions. We know that he should be in jail, not only for what he did to Gina, but also to many others before her, even if Gina and others don't know that. But we also understand that... She's right. She deserves to be recognized for things she accomplished, not for something out of her control that was a very traumatic and painful experience. Sharing this with the world would mean forever labeling her as the victim and exposing her to accusations of being a liar and trying to destroy Bojack's career. 
Bojack staying quiet and not revealing what truly happened is hardly a satisfying ending of the story, but it's a realistic one that allows Gina to address her trauma on her own terms, away from the spotlight. What I've always considered to be extremely tragic about it and what doesn't seem to be talked about much is the timing. It's the moment when Gina should be at her happiest, enjoying the recognition she fought so hard to get and having her moment of fame. Instead, Filbert gets cancelled and she has this trauma that she now has to carry in secret. When Biscuits asks about the rumors surrounding the leaked footage, Gina assures her that she and Bojack were simply doing their job and the whole thing was just an act. They also pretend that they are still in a relationship, something I'm sure must have been hard for Gina, especially as it's clear that she's uncomfortable around Bojack. After the interview is over, she storms off, leaving Bojack behind. We don't really see much of Gina after the interview is over, which is kind of a shame because she was a really great addition to the cast, but it only highlights that even if Bojack is ready to move on, it doesn't mean that people affected by his actions get to do the same. I think part of the reason why Gina's ending is so heartbreaking is because we meet her as the strong woman who knows what she wants, and then Bojack ruins that for her just as she finally managed to accomplish everything she wanted. The assault shakes her sense of stability and ends up sabotaging her career. Back when working on Filbert, she was willing to do whatever the director expected from her. But in season 6, we see her being overly controlling and expecting that everyone on set adheres to her extremely strict rules because their existence gives her a sense of stability and control control over her life. Bojack's assault was so sudden and unexpected, it completely changed how she views her work and when her co-star improvises a move meet performance, she gets a flashback and understandably freaks out. She lashes out and ends up being seen as a diva. What her co-workers don't know is that it's actually Gina's coping mechanism as she tries to deal with her trauma without revealing to anyone what exactly happened on the set of Filbert. In her attempt to avoid being seen as that girl who got choked by Bojack Horseman, her unresolved trauma ends up sabotaging the very career she sacrificed so much for. It's chilling to see trauma manifesting in this kind of way, to see this woman who did nothing wrong and made so many sacrifices for the sake of her career now struggling to do her job because she no longer feels safe, and everyone deserves to feel safe and respected, especially in their workplace. What makes this scene so tragic is that we understand how from the outside perspective Gina's behavior can be seen as crazy, and how fame and popularity made her feel like she's the most valuable person on set. We understand why some people may be no longer willing to work with her. No one wants to be at the receiving end of someone's unexpected outbursts. So when in season 6, Kelsey is searching for a star for her new superhero movie and asks her friend Justin Kenyon if he can recommend Gina to be her new lead actress, it's understandable that he's not sure if it's the best move. He praises her skills, recognizing that she's good at what she does, but when Kelsey asks about her personality, he admits that he can't recommend her. Even though she's very talented and versatile as an actress, which is exactly what Kelsey is looking for, she's too unpredictable and doesn't like surprises which makes her difficult to work with. Which is a shame because we know that if there's someone who could understand Gina and the unfairness of people like Bojack getting away with everything, it's Kelsey. Her time working with Bojack on Secretariat also caused her career to suffer and it took years for her to finally land a job that she can be proud of and enjoy working on. She can't afford hiring an actress who behaves like a diva, she needs someone dependable who can be trusted. So, at first it looks like there's no chance that she'll hire Gina to star in Fireflame, especially once Justin recommends Courtney Portnoy instead, saying that he's heard nothing but good things. It is a pleasant surprise then when in the last episode it's revealed from a billboard advertising the movie that Gina did end up getting the role of Fireflame with Courtney Portnoy as her co-star. We can only hope that it means that Gina managed to recover and move on, leaving Bojack in the past and being a successful actress. She didn't deserve the abuse she experienced and I, as well as many other fans, hope she found peace and didn't follow in Bojack's footsteps. Bojack is a series that shows how abuse is a cycle, victims turning into oppressors or slowly losing themselves in addiction as they seek help in alcohol and other highly addictive substances. We don't know for sure what the future has in store for Gina, we can only assume that she overcame her trauma and that finding out that in the end Bojack had to answer for his bad decisions and suffer the consequences gave her some sense of inner peace.
Gina is a reminder that Bojack's actions don't exist in a vacuum. Even if we don't follow the lives of people he hurt, his actions had lasting consequences and impact on those who happened to be close to him. Just like Charlotte and Penny, Gina is no longer a part of his life, but it doesn't mean the trauma caused by the assault simply went away. Her mental health, sense of safety and even her career were all affected by Bojack's actions, and the fact that he doesn't even remember what he did doesn't erase that. We see during his solo interviews with Biscuits that he tries to blame his past mistakes on addiction. But it isn't until he actually confronts what he did, to Gina and to others, that he can finally start his journey of recovery. Bojack spent so much time trying to outrun his past, dodging responsibility and harming others in the process. And Gina happens to be one of the people who found out the hard way just how destructive Bojack can be. Like I already said, she was a great addition to the cast and her story really resonated with many fans, especially those who experienced similar abuse in their lives. I like to believe that Gina got her happy ending, that she and Kelsey made an amazing superhero movie that subverted expectations and gave both of them recognition and fame they deserve. Maybe at some point she even found someone who showed her that she deserves good things and doesn't have to deny herself love or give up on her dreams. She deserves to recover and move on and I think that at the end of the day Bojack's ending is a hopeful one. We've seen that other characters manage to find happiness and move on with their lives. Gina is smart and she knows what she wants. I hope in the end she found peace and left Bojack in the past where he belongs and had a bright and wonderful future. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate every single one of you and your support means the world to me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, maybe even validate my dumb ass with a comment or two. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on Gina and what you think happened to her following the end of the series. Thank you and see you next time!